This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, like YouTube album stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See them things. See them analyze that data. Listen. I put out a video yesterday where I told you guys that in one account I had 500 shares. But when I got my email proxy vote, there was only 41 votable proxy shares. I had in that account I had 2008 shares, so I got the 2008 votes, but I didn't get the 41. I mean, I didn't get the 500 AMC votes. They told me I had 41 proxy votes. And since I put that video out on YouTube and on Twitter, there are multiple more people in the same situation. Even Mike the Marine put out a video that he had additional people who told him the exact same thing. So I am not an anomaly. This is something that's happening all across the board with the AMC proxy count. And to me, and this is just my opinion, I believe this is further evidence of the fraud and corruption in the market. This is further evidence of why the FTDs are so high, further evidence of why we're on the threshold list. But I'm saying that to say this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a copy of my proxy statement saying I got 41 shares, 41 votable shares, and a picture of my account saying there's 500 shares in the account, and I'm going to send it to the SEC and the DOJ. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm sending certified mail return receipt because I want to know that they received it because they need to investigate this. There's overwhelming evidence of fraud and corruption in the market. But with AMC and GME, the fraud and corruption is like on another level. It's on another level. So everybody who does not have the correct proxy count, I suggest that you make copies of the proxy count that you received and, 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 and put out a screenshot or however you do it, a copy of the share you have in your account, put it in an envelope with a letter and send it to the SEC and the DOJ and demand that they do an investigation. Demand that the SEC and the DOJ do an investigation. That is the only way we're going to get to the bottom of this. We need a lot of people to send that evidence in to the DOJ and to the SEC and demand that they do an investigation. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Is it a great idea for us to send this evidence that I believe is evidence of fraud and counterfeit shares to the SEC and the DOJ? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.